Hi, this is Saul again. Uh, we're going to talk about a couple of different tips and tricks for your Android phone. Uh, we're going to be dealing with the Droid X again, but it's pretty much good for all Android phones across the board. Pretty much all the same. All right, so um, again, we're going to start. Sorry for the glare. I'm going to start by pressing the top button up here. Okay. We've got that. So uh, the first thing, if you want to unlock it, remember you go from that side to that side to unlock. But if you go the other way, if you go from that side to that side, you'll see it goes into silent. So that's loud, that's silent. That's a really fast and easy way to do it. All right? So let's go there. We want to unlock the phone. And we're back at the home screen. All right? Now we've talked about adding things to your home screen and the different screens that are in there. If you want to actually add an app to your home screen as a shortcut, we can go to our app menu. And let's say that we want to add our Google Goggles, right? Google Goggles is pretty cool. So you can do it a couple of different ways. One of the cool ways is if you just touch it and hold it, the screen will disappear and it'll be right there. We can move it around. It's pretty cool, right? Then we can go right into it. And it kind of goes into the Google Goggle menus there. We're going to go ahead and close out of that. You don't actually have to hit close if you just go to the home button or the back button. Let's go to home. It takes us back to the home screen. Um, we're going to go up here. Is We're going to turn on our GPS. Okay, that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to go to your menu, settings, and then we'll go to location and security. And then make sure that all three of those are checkmarked. Use wireless networks, use GPS satellites, enable assisted GPS. That's not only using the satellites, but it's also using cell towers. All right, so we'll go back. Now, Google navigation is insanely good on these phones. It's free and it's really nice to use. So the search button is a dedicated search button. It's pretty nice. Right there, that little guy. Okay, we're going to hold it. And we're going to press it and hold it until it actually says speak now. And then we're going to say navigate to um, whatever. You know, you can do street address. You can do your favorite restaurant, wherever you're going. So we'll, we'll do uh, to Walmart. Everyone has got to go to Walmart, right? So I'll press it and hold it. And oops, so I'll, let's uh, go back into it here. Okay, I just started it up. All right, press it and hold it. Navigate to Walmart. And it says navigate to Walmart. And we'll accept it. And it'll go right into Google Maps navigation. I'll choose the Walmart Super Center. Head southeast on Century Circle towards Century Drive. And it, it's pulling up turn by turn directions. Now we've talked about the menu button right up here. Uh, if we press menu, and then it brings up your menu across the bottom here. I know it's hard to see, and I apologize for that. We have a different icons there. Okay, let's go to layer, and then satellite, and that actually brings up satellite view. And it's turn by turn. It's crazy. It's really good. So we want to exit out of that. All we have to do is hit our home button again. And we're back to the home. Now again on top you can see. 
no, that's not very good. You can see there's a navigation bar up top here. Okay, we can just drag it down. <laughs> and we'll see how good it is, right? So we're going to exit out of that. We're going to exit the navigation. And we're done. So that's just another little tips and tricks, and we'll come through with a couple of more. So hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been uh, helpful, and have a nice day.